Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into an application called Saner or Saner AI, uh, which is one of these AI chat applications, which uh, if you have been to the channel before, I haven't been the biggest fan of. I think they are getting better and I am starting to like them a little bit more, but like in general I haven't been a big fan of um, these applications. But uh, I thought since I'm starting to change my mind, I would uh, test out an application that calls itself like the personal assistant for um, personal assistant for ADHD years. Um, that's actually what their website says. So I thought I would give this a chance, try it out, and give you an overview of the application, and also talk a little bit about how what I think about it. So I have tested it out a little, uh, but not much. So let's jump into the application uh, right here. And let's actually start off with the pricing because I have uh, a few things to say about the pricing here. Uh, you have a free plan, which is basically mostly just a way for you to test out the application. Like you get 30 messages a, mo uh, a month and 100 notes. Um, you get the ability to add PDFs, uh, you get 100 megabytes of storage, 30 AI requests each month, uh, so just enough for you to try out the application. Uh, then you have the uh, starter plan, which is monthly or yearly, so $6 each month or $8 each month, and this is an early access pricing structure they have, like this will probably go away. Um, at some point and it will end up being $12 each month. Uh, so with the pricing here you get 30 messages a day, limited access to reasoning mode, a thousand, um, a thousand notes, PDF size 5 uh, megabytes and 5 gigs of storage. So where I have an issue with this, there are two places. The first one is the 30 messages uh, a day. I find it hard to like pay for an application where the selling point is like AI, uh, chat with your AI assistant, uh, put things inside of the application and have AI find them for you or talk to AI to find them or get feedback from an AI that has access to all of your notes and all of your contacts. That is the idea of an application like this. I'm struggling to pay for it if it only gives me limited access to its selling point. That's the first thing. The other thing, which uh, even annoys me a little bit more, is this thousand notes limit. So for eight uh, or twelve, uh, eight, twelve, or uh, six, like depending on when and which plan you go for, like this will be eight or twelve, depending on. Um, whether you go um, monthly or yearly. Right now it is eight for the monthly, which place it, uh, places it like a little cheaper than many of the other applications out there. But honestly, for eight dollars each month, I am, uh, I am expecting to get unlimited notes or at least much more than this. Uh, so for someone that takes a lot of notes, you would probably get to a thousand in two, two and a half years or so, um, and then you would probably have to upgrade here, which doesn't sound like much, but like I am paying $8 each month, I am already getting limited access to the application, and I'm only getting, um, I'm only getting a thousand notes, um, so I am still really limited there as well. Uh, and I can pay $16 uh, dollars each month for unlimited notes and unlimited chat with AI. And I get that like AI is expensive. Um, I, I really get that and I try to defend these AI applications as much as I can because AI is really, really expensive. But um, so like I'm not annoyed as much with this, but notes markdown files can't be uh, that uh, expensive to um, to host on a server. Just my personal thought here, uh, especially after testing out so many different applications, this starter plan should give you unlimited notes. So that's with the pricing, but uh, most people will just end up having to pay for the standard plan because you want unlimited chat with AI, that's the whole point of the application. So probably for most people you will 
end up in here, which is right now 16 or $12 each month. And it will be 16 on the yearly and 20 on the monthly, which I don't think is terrible. A lot of applications are in the same place. I'm more annoyed with this starter, um, with this starter pricing plan, which feels like just another way to test out whether or not the application works for you but you already have that in your free plan anyways let's jump into the application so here we have our daily notes i really like how the application is designed so i can uh, write a couple of to do's so i can do a test task two for example and let's actually schedule that to tomorrow instead uh, and i want to be reminded one hour before I can choose whether or not this task should repeat. So uh, let's not uh, do that. Let's just put it in for tomorrow. You can see that I can also add a time. So let's add 12. So now I actually have uh, my task in here. Uh, and as you can see, I can go into my daily note right here and there I can see my task. This is more of a document feature uh, where I can um, link to a page I have a number of formatting options I have table image divider and I can actually convert speech to text but this isn't a transcription feature because you will actually have to upload a file so I could do this with my podcast for example or uh, one of my YouTube videos I could upload those and get like speech to text but this is quite basic uh, like the way uh this works is quite basic. I can also press here to open similar notes. This won't work out for me simply because I don't have any notes inside of here. Uh, but uh, I found that this feature in AI applications is getting really good, not perfect. And you will have to have a lot of notes for this to work properly, but uh, it works uh, quite well. Uh, so I can click here to add uh, tags, folders, and a summary. And I can actually have AI autofill that for me inside of my notes. So let's just go ahead and do that for this one. It takes a little bit of time and I've gotten used to AI applications taking a little bit of time, but as you can see, it does an okay job. Um, so that's the auto organization behind the application. Um, as I showed you, these are my tasks. I can see my tasks for today. I can see other tasks. Uh, every task from all of my notes will be found right here. Uh, so that is also something I like. That is one of the things that annoyed me with an application like mem.ai, which does some of the same things. Uh, it didn't have that, uh, like the place where you could see all of your tasks, a place where your tasks are consolidated. Um, so there are a few things you can uh, do in here. I can change the note there in, for example. Uh, I can uh, change the due date as well. I can uh, set a priority level. So quite good task management inside of this application. We also have an inbox. This is where everything goes before you organize it. And we have a timeline as well, which shows you uh, a timeline of uh, your notes. Here you can see some of my daily notes. I can also see it in a month, uh, in a week, or in a day. Uh, and I can also actually change it to a calendar view if I wanted to do that. So here you can see things in a calendar. And I actually really like this calendar view to get an overview of things. Um, and inside of the calendar view, I can also change it right here. Uh, so, uh, quite a few really nice features here. Uh, so I could change this, for example, um, and the task was updated. So you can actually interact with your tasks from right here, uh, which is something I do really like. And they actually appear uh, in your calendar here. Uh, now let's do some of the note taking. So this application has folders, so I can add new folders and I can add new notes within folders. This is called my knowledge. Uh, so this is where my notes, for example, go. So let's add a new note. They call them untitled documents here. That's the name that they get when you first uh, add one. And inside of here, I should be able to change the uh, name and that is quite simple to do and 
then I can start writing. This is a block based application, so I can do, uh, I can write things and then I should be able to drag my blocks up and down like this. Um, uh, and I can just do a test because I want to test out the AI. I want to go for a walk. Uh, and then I can actually just go into Ask AI. Uh, and let's just try this out. I really want to see how the AI works. Uh, so here you can see some of the questions you can ask, like, can you help me create a to-do list? Or uh, let me uh, try to ask, uh, let's do first at uh, Sky. So here you can choose different things. You can choose different models. You can choose uh, online AI model with uh, real-time internet access, uh, AI-powered search, but I will ask Sky, and I want to ask, uh, what do I have to do? Do I have to do next week? Let's see how it does and how long it takes. So it starts thinking uh, and my guess is that it goes through your tasks and your notes and it gives you an answer. So it actually does quite a good job and I like how it presents things as well. I can go ahead and I can save it, I can edit it, I can, can I click into it? I can't click into it, uh, but I actually like how, um, I actually like how this looks uh, and it's a, that's all I could find specifically for next week would you like me to help you plan your week further or organize additional tasks for upcoming projects like youtube videos podcasts or the daily productivity apps newsletter which is coming out soon so that is i guess coming from here where you can actually add information to your ai and uh, this also gives you uh, what they call chakra points uh, and the more like you get of these the better the AI will get which makes sense the more information you put into these applications the better uh, the better they get but I actually like how uh, it is answering um, I have seen much worse implementations of AI so um, for the like most expensive plan here I think that's an okay deal. I think the application looks really good. Of course, I haven't tested it out extensively, but uh, as like first impressions and a quick overview of the application goes, it has gotten a lot better than the first time I tested out the application. Um, and I think it will just keep getting uh, better. And the more information you put inside of it, of course, the better it will get. I think like the middle plan, uh, the one that comes after the free plan, the one that was six or eight dollars each month. I think that is like that one still anno uh, annoys me. Uh, just having thousand, uh, just having a thousand notes and only 30 messages, which is the same as the free plan uh, when it comes to me messages, when the whole selling point of the application is uh, AI organization and AI chat abilities, AI assistance. I find that a little weird. The last pricing plan, I uh, think, uh, I don't think that it is too expensive either. I I'm just annoyed with the like metal pricing. Apart from that, I think this application looks super, super interesting and it will probably be one I will uh, keep my eye on going forward. However, I think like almost all applications will have some of these features, uh, but it is hard to say uh, in the time we're living in with AI, uh, things are just moving so Fast. But that covers it for today's video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.